13 years ago, I was nine years old and in fourth grade. And this is when my teacher asked me to give a little presentation in my class about the climate crisis. And when I prepared that presentation, I found out about a woman from Kenya called Vangari Matai, who had started a movement to, uh, to plant trees with women all across the continent. And she ended up managing to plant 30 million trees in 30 years. And this is when I thought that we children and youth should plant trees too. We could plant maybe one million trees in each country of the world. And my classmates loved that idea. And this is why two months later, we planted our first tree. And we got very lucky because two local journalists reported about that first tree. And this is how some other schools heard about our idea and started planting some trees as well. And we met a slightly older student who created a very simple website for us. And this website was essentially just a ranking among local schools of who had planted the most trees. And lots of students wanted to outcompete their neighboring schools, wanted to get to the top of that leaderboard. And this is how Plant for the Planet spread. After one year, we had planted about 50,000 trees. And after three years, the first million. And children and youth all across the world started joining us. But we kind of realized that you know, while we were proud of what we, we had achieved there, we're incredibly far away from making a true global impact. And we made some back of the envelope calculations and discovered that we would need to plant roughly a trillion trees globally. That's the global reforestation potential. And this is what we called for at the United Nations. We combine our forces, old and young, rich and poor, and together, we can plant a trillion trees. We can start a trillion tree campaign. So we called for a trillion trees, but people didn't really take us all that seriously. We were just a couple of kids making grand claims. And we realized there needed to be some scientific understanding of the global reforestation potential to truly get people mobilized and planting trees. And this is when we met a young scientist from Yale University, who then set out on a three-year research project to initially understand how many trees there even are around the world. And he concluded that we currently have about three trillion trees globally. And he published that in 2015 in Nature. And it created a big amount of media attention all around the world about the importance of forests. And this is when we then worked with him to set up a research lab at ETH Zurich dedicated to understanding global reforestation potential, which led to the biggest breakthrough yet, a 2019 study published in the journal Science, which showed that our back of the envelope calculations were actually incredibly spot on, that there is globally space to plant an another one trillion trees. So in addition to the three trillion trees that currently exist, we can plant up to another one trillion trees. And this ha is, has an incredible potential to help us tackle the climate crisis. And when this paper was published, it made huge amounts of waves, got huge amounts of media attention. It actually became the second most discussed climate study of the year. And this is when things started moving incredibly fast. Al Gore read about it and then told Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce, about it. And he sprung into action. He got the World Economic Forum on board in supporting a trillion trees um, a program. And he also convinced the US government to support a trillion trees. Today, I'm pleased to announce the United States will join One Trillion Trees Initiative being launched here at the World Economic Forum. One trillion trees. What got a bit lost in some of that media attention is that tree planting alone cannot solve the climate crisis. At the same time, we need to massively reduce our global carbon emissions. Only together, reducing carbon emissions and massively planting trees, do we have any hope of um, preventing the climate crisis. Those past 10 years, we've been focusing on convincing the world about the importance of planting trees. But that mission seems accomplished. People now understand that we need to restore those trillion trees. But now it's time to jump into action. We have been preparing that for those years as well. 
Not only do we have our young ambassadors all across the world planting as many trees as possible in their community, we also set up a bigger reforestation project on the Yucatan Peninsula in southern Mexico, where um, a degraded forest the size of the country of Liechtenstein um, was destroyed and we've taken it upon ourselves to restore that forest. We now have a team of 100 employees planting on average one tree every 15 seconds. It's about 2 million trees a year. And while we are incredibly proud of what we are achieving there, I think it becomes immediately obvious how small that amount is compared to the 1 trillion trees we need. So we need a massively scale up global reforestation. Thank God we're not the only ones planting trees. There are lots of small NGOs all around the world planting small amounts of trees and they have all of that local expertise, but they lack the funding to scale up. So to solve this, uh, for the past two years, we have been building the Plant for the Planet app. And we just launched it and it's available for iPhones and Android phones. And it's incredibly simple. All those tree planting organizations around the world can present their work. They can show which species they plant, what survival rate they've uh, achieved, and they can make their work, work transparent. Soon we have a satellite feature where you can see what this reforestation area looked like a few years ago and looks like now. So you can see those trees actually growing and build trust between the tree planting organization and the donor. And the most important part of this app is that uh, any user can then select their favorite project and donate directly to that organization. So it's never been easier to support tree planting projects all across the world. And what's incredibly important here is that we at Plant for the Planet, of course, don't take any cut. 100% of the money goes directly to that tree planting project. And to make sure it's, it's fun, we've got lots of other features like that every user has their own personal tree counter. You can participate in tree planting competitions. And there's also a new kind of Forbes list, a list that doesn't rank people by how much money they have, but it ranks people by how many trees they've planted. So with this Plant for the Planet app, nobody has any excuse left not to plant trees. And this is why I'm calling on everyone to join us, on individuals, to plant trees, on companies to plant trees, on governments to plant trees. We need everyone's help to restore these trillion trees and to have any hope of tackling the climate crisis and preventing catastrophic climate change. So please plant with us. Stop talking, start planting.